Thank you. Okay, guys, again, hello, everyone. Now, today, inshallah, we'll continue lesson five, page 487, surface area. Now, before we start, let's just start, uh, remember what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we did surface area for rectangular, the rectangular prism, the rectangular prism. And we know that the rectangular prism something like this like box like the room which you are in all of the uh, faces have length and width uh, and the rectangular prism has a three dimensions length width and height now how many faces we have here we have six faces we have the roof the base and the four walls or the four faces around now, how we find the surface area, we need to find the area of each face of them. Means you will find six areas, but each two of them are equal. The base and the floor, the, the, the roof and the floor are the same because they are congruent. This side with this side, congruent. This side and the one which is behind are congruent. So how we find it, we have formula for it. Yesterday we applied it the surface area of the rectangular prism because each prism or pyramid has its own surface area, like the volume. Not, it is not one formula. For each prism or pyramid, it has its own way or strategy to find the surface area or the volume. So here, guys, how we find the surface area of the six faces in one step? We start with two, multiply length, width two multiply length width plus two multiply length height plus so i took length with width length with height the last one width with height two multiply width with height this is the formula which you can use to find the surface area for any rectangular prism. For example, I want to give you an example quickly just to finish the rectangular prism. If I have this rectangular prism with length, let's say three centimeter, width four centimeter, height, let's the width be two, and height five centimeter. So we have length, width, and height. Rectangular prism. How we find the surface area? Let's apply the formula. Surface area equal. Surface area equal. First, you take the length with the width, then the length with the height, then the width with the height. Means first, you will take three with two, then the three with five, then two with five. And don't forget the two. This two, why two, guys? Because we have always opposite faces, two opposite faces congruent. So here I'll do two multiply width with length, which is a three multiply two plus two multiply with length with height, which is a three multiply five plus two multiply the width with the height, which is, <clears throat> sorry, two multiply five. Equal, multiply and add. This is six by two, 12. This is six by five, 30. And this is four by five, 20. 30 with the 20, 50 with the 12, 62 power two, it is area. So this is how we find the surface area of mean rectangular prism. Now we are done with this solid. Let's go to other one. In the prisms, let's say in our book, we have um, we did example one and the check, I think. Let's go to the triangular prism. Triangular prism, okay? Now, now, now we'll find the surface area. Focus, guys. Each solid figure, huh? It is not one formula. Each solid figure, it has its own strategy to find the volume and the surface area. If your rectangular prism was length by width by height, 
the surface area is different. Also for the triangular prism, surface area for mean the triangular prism. What's the triangular prism, guys? Focus with me, please. The triangular prism is two triangles, the bases. Okay. okay. Uh, graphing here. Two triangles. And the two triangles are the bases, guys. The two triangles are the bases. And this triangle are congruent. They have the same area. So what we have here in the rectangular prism, the all faces are rectangles. But here I have triangles, rectangles. The bases are triangles. The surrounded faces are rectangles. So how many faces we have? We have this tri triangle one. Now focus with me. We have this one, three, and the one which is behind four and the floor five. So we have five faces here. Two of them and the three other sides or faces are rectangles. Let's take example, how to find the surface area, um, the surface area of triangular prism. Please focus page, uh, page 489, 489. Now, if you take a look to the example guys here, this is the triangular uh, the triangular Please focus guys in your book because sometimes the screen here is not clear. So take a look and listen to me. Now we have two triangles. See the triangles? And now each triangle, uh, both the triangles have the same area. So it is enough to find one of them, then multiply by two. Because the two triangles guys have the same area no need to calculate the area of this and the area of this. No, just calculate one area of them, then multiply with two. Means if the area of this triangle four meter power two, then the area of this triangle also should be four meter power two. So don't make this one four and this one four. No, make two by four. Okay. So first step, we will find the area. Uh, focus the area of the two triangles together so here what i will do guys i'll find the area of the two triangles equal now the area of the two triangles will is half base by height the base is four and the height is a three the base is four and the height is a three right this is a triangle see it the base is four and the height is a three. So the area of two triangles is two, and the area of the triangle half base height. We know the area. Why two? Because we have two triangles. Here the base and here the height. So this is equal to multiply half, multiply the base, which is in our book, it is four inches. Multiply the height, it is three. Now calculate it. This is equal to multiply half of four, two, multiply three, six, which is a 12 inches power two. This area, which I found here, is the area of this triangle and this triangle also. It's still what now? It's still the three faces which we have the floor face and the one which is on behind okay now the three faces which we, which they are still here all of them are rectangles so what is the area of the rectangle length by width so each face of them we will find its a let's go to the book now and see the faces which we want to find let's start from the floor guys the floor the floor has length 14, focus, length 14, 
and width four, which is the same of the pairs of the triangle, the floor, length 14, and width four. So the area of the pairs, area of the pairs, the floor, I will say, equals length by width, because it is what? It is rectangle, which is 14 multiply four. 14 multiply four equal 56 inches bar two. Still what guys? It's still two rectangles. Still two rectangles, okay? It's still two rectangles, which are the one which is here to the right and the one which is behind. Now, the one which is to the right, we have 14 by 3.6. 14 by 3.6, and they have the same area. So we have two triangles. Here we have 14, and here we have 3.6 length by width. So the area of the sides, huh, the sides equal to, why two? Because they have two rectangles. Multiply 14, multiply, the width of it is 3.6. equal multiply 3.6 equal 28 multiply 3.6 28 multiply 3.6 is 108 100.8 inches bar two what i did here guys i found the area of the two i found the area of the floor and i found the area of the two sides the triangle Triangles, I multiply by two and use the area of the triangle. The floor, I make it alone because it's different from the sides. Length by width. And the two sides behind, I multiply it by two because they have the same length and the same width. Now, the surface area, what is it, guys? The whole surface area is you need to add the area of the two triangle sides, means you will add the 12 and the 56 and the 108 together. So the surface area equal, surface area equal 12 plus 56 plus 0.8. And if you add the three, these are three numbers, the answer should be 8. I will add them. Uh, 12 plus 56 plus 100.8. The answer 168.8. 168.8 inches power two. Okay, guys. So how to find the area of a triangular prism? We find the area of the two triangles, the area of the floor, and the area of the two sides then we add this together to find the whole surface area this is example two guys after it on the next page we have check let's do it together who can help me here check page 490 check page 400 يلا يا عمار عمار يلا يلا ريد good we have this we have two triangles see the triangles for each triangle yeah. we have pairs and area right yeah but now you have the two triangles together Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now the two triangles, if you see this triangle here, it has right angle, means the 15 feet is what? Is the right triangle. Is the height of the triangle, right? And yes. what's the pace? The pace is six and one point four. See? Yeah. Yes. 
So let's find the area for this prism. First, I will find the area of two triangles. Equal. How we find it? Two, two multiply two the area bit. of a triangle, which is half pi. Half pi. Equal two multiply half multiply. What's the as we said the base of the triangle it's written so up here four right yeah. multiply the height yeah. the height of the triangle the both right angle 15 feet so yeah. 15 feet now let's find it let's find these numbers together i'll use my calculator to save time guys two multiply half which is 0 0.5 multiply 6 1 over 4 multiply 15 the answer will be 93.75 93.75 what's the unit feet what's the unit feet feet bar 2 ft good this is the area of the two, two triangles. Now what we want to find, the area of what? The floor. The floor, guys, the area of it is here in behind. It is in behind, right? Here one here. and here one. See it? And the floor down, it is what? The length of it is six and one over four. And the height of it is the same of all. See? Same of the 12. So the area of the, the face, I call it the floor, equals length by width. The length of it is 12 and the width 6 and 1 over 4. 12 multiply 6 and 1 over 4 equals what? Yeah. Yeah. 12 multiply 6.25 is 75 exactly 75 feet or two is still what you are more the other two rectangles the two rectangles this one and the the one which is in the opposite in the floor down see it the base this one yeah. 15 by what 15 by 12. 15 by 12 Got it? But we multiply with two, okay? Uh, so two multiply sorry, two. Sorry, guys. Multiply. Sorry. Sorry. The floor down, I'm sorry. The floor, the length is 16 and 1 over 4. Not not a 12. The floor. By width, Sahya. What's your name? Ammar. Sorry. I will change this to 16. And one over four. Sorry, guys. Change the answer with 16.25 multiply 6.25. It is 102.05. Okay. Now let's go to the two triangles. This one and this one, they have the same. 12 by what? 15. Length by width. Point. Right? So here the area of the two sides equal to multiply what? 12, 12 multiply 15. 15. Good. Now 2 multiply 12 multiply 15 is a 360 feet bar 2. Okay? Now I finished what? I found the area of the two triangles, the floor and the two sides. Now what I will do, the surface area will be what? The sum the of area? the three. Yes, the sum of, of the, the three, three areas. areas. Right? This yes. one plus this one plus this one. So this is 93.75 plus 102.05 plus 360, the answer is 93.75 plus 102.05 plus 
360 is 555.8. 555.8 feet power two. Here, guys, you need to imagine a little bit, okay? Because the triangular prism, it has two, ba two bases, which are triangles. That's why I multiply by two. It has a floor and it has two sides, one of opposite of us and the other which is behind, okay? The two sides have the same area, so I multiply by two. This is the surface area of the triangular prism. Okay, now I will do example three guys directly because I'm running off time, then I can answer your questions. Now, in the example three, what we have? Pyramids. And we said that the pyramids has only one base and all the sides are triangles, right? One base on the floor and all the sides are triangles. Now, how we find the, uh, the surface area of the pyramids in this lesson, guys? Surface area of the pyramids. Look here, guys, it's easier than the prisons. This is the find the, the area of the base. The area of the base, then the area of one triangle. Okay, the area, not one triangle, because we have more than one triangle, the area of the, the sides. And all the sides are triangles. So let's see example three there. Example three. We have this base, which is a rectangle, a square. See the base, guys? It's a square, the base down, okay? So here we have uh, these sides here, something like this, okay? Now we have the square down. The length and the width are the same, means this is a square pyramid, okay? The length is four and a half, and the width also four and a half, okay? Inches. What's this mean, guys? This means all the sides down, all the sides is, each one of them is four and a half. Now, the height of one triangle, the height of the triangle given 11 and one over four inches. The height is 11 and one over four inches. Now, how I'll find the area, the surface area, guys? First, I'll find the area of the base. Now, the area of the base, we have a square. Length by width, four and a half, multiply four and a half. Equal four and a half multiply four and a half is 20.25. 20.25. What inches power two? Look here, guys. Again, this is triangular pyramid. Uh, sorry, square pyramid. It has base and the faces are triangles. The base is square. How we find the area of it? Length by width, normally. Now, how many triangles I have? I have four triangles. This one, this one, this one, and the one which is behind. And all of them have the same base and the same height. The same base and the same height, right? All of the triangles around have the same base and the same height, means, it's enough to find area of one triangle and multiply with how much? Four, because we have four triangles with the same area. So the area of the sides, guys, here, area of the sides equal four, because we have four triangles, multiplied by the area of the triangle, half base multiply height. Now, what's the base of the triangle, guys? Four and half. The height. 11 and one over four. So this is equal four multiply half 
multiply the base four and a half multiply the height is 11.1 and one over four. And let's multiply these numbers here. We have four multiply half multiply 4.5 multiply 11.25. The answer 100.8. 100.8, let me check, four, half, four and half, 11.25. The answer 101, sorry, 0.25. Now what I did here, guys, I found the area of the base and I found the area of the four triangles. This is the area of the base. This is the area of the sides. Why I multiplied by four? and half pH, this is area of the triangle multiplied by four, why? Because I have four congruent triangles. Each triangle of them has the same base and the same height. Now what I need to do to find the whole surface area, I need to add the areas together. So the surface area equal, the surface area of this pyramid equal 20.25, which is the area of the base plus the area of the triangles, 101.25, this is equal to 20.25 plus 101.25. The answer 121.5 inches or two. This is how we find the surface area of the pyramid. The pairs, it's one pairs. And we take a look to the triangles around to see uh, how we find it. Now we have check after it. We have check guys, see the check? Who can help me with the check? Who can help me with the check guys, please? Yazan, yalla Yazan. Yes, mister. Yalla Yazan. See the check? Yes. Now, what's the base, Yazan? The base. The, the base is, uh, is 6.4. And 6.4. If the length and the width are equal, what's this figure will be? What's the base? Square. Square or rectangle? Exactly. Square, square. Square means the whole four sides down is how much? Uh, 6.4. All of them. Good. So what we have guys here in the check? Yes. We have this is square, length of it 6.4, the width of it 6.4. Means this one 6.4 and this one also 6.4. Now, and we have what? Triangles around. How many triangles we have? Four. Four triangles. The face the left, the right, and the one which is behind. behind. Now, each of the triangle has the same base and the same what? Height. Height. How much the height given in the question? 6.1 centimeters. 6.1. 6.1. Good. Good. Now, let's try to find the whole areas here. Let's start with the base. What is the area of the pairs, yeah, Yazan? Uh, the, the area of the square down. Mm. The area of the square is uh, multiplied. How we find area of the square or the rectangle? What we do? Yazan, look here. Look here, Habibi. We, we put the areas in your book, remember? Oh, yes, yes. If we have length width, this is rectangle. The area of it is length by width, yes. right? Yes. But if we have the same number, it is what? Square. The area of it is S multiply S, right? S multiply S, yeah. Good. So what's the area of the square down here? S multiply S. Which is? Square. Mashi, by the numbers now, what's the area of the pairs? Hello? 
يا زلمة ركز معي يا حبيبي This is the square of the floor see it yes this is S and this is S right yes so what's the area you multiply the numbers so what's the area of the face down here square and yeah, what's the area how we find the area of the floor down here we have a square these are the numbers 6.4 multiplied how we find it yalla multiply 6.4 by multiply the length by the width or the side by the side this is the formula so 6.4 multiply 6.4 equal 6.4 multiply 6.4 is 38 40.96 40.96 centimeter board two got it yeah yes now the next step we need to find what the area of what of the uh, triangle of the triangles how many triangles we have four four triangles so area of the sides which are triangles four and for why four because we have four triangles right yeah stop what's the area of the triangle half half is uh, height uh, so, yes. the formulas the income equal now each triangle what's the base of it each triangle yabni what is the base for each triangle what is the base the base uh, 6.4 and what is the height for each one? 6.1. So let's apply the formula, right? Yes. Yeah. Four with half multiply half the base. Multiply 6.4. 6 multiply 6.1. Yes. Now let's calculate these numbers. I will use the calculator. Four multiply half multiply 6.4 multiply 6.1 it is 78.08 centimeter per two see Yazan? okay now what i did guys me and Yazan here we found the area of the square down by using its formula and we find the area of the four sides which is four triangles it means four multiply the area of the triangle. Now, how we find the whole surface area of this pyramid, pyramid Yayazan? The surface area equal what? What we do? Hello? Hello? But the surface area, mister, do you know how we find the surface area now, the whole? Yeah. Uh, what we what? do? Multiply the side by. خلصنا إحنا خلصنا يا بني. Now the final step. What we will do to find the surface area of the whole figure, solid. I don't know. Look here, يا بني. But look here. Here we find the area of the base, right? Yes. Then we find the area of the four triangles, right? Okay. The final surface area, which is the whole surface area of all the faces, we add the areas which we found. Get it? Okay. So here, what we will do to find the whole surface area of this solid? You will add. We will add the answers, the area of the base and the area of the four sides. It will be 40.96 plus 78.08. Now let's find the answer. 40.96 plus 78.08. The answer 119.04 centimeter bar two. This is the check guys page. 
492. Now, I will send these exercises to your inbox, guys, so you can copy as you want. But let's take a look to our homework here, guys, please. Sura. Rectangular prism, rectangular prism. We know the formula. Don't forget that. Here we have triangular prism, triangular prism. Take a look to these examples and this check here. And at the end, we have square pyramid and the square pyramid the last two ideas here so before you do the homework please revise these exercises guys plus today at 2 p.m also you have online assignment about volume and service area together so do them guys especially the students which did, did, didn't do any online assignment yani you will get zero so please, guys, please do your assignments. Do your assignments. Thank you so much. And I hope you understand it very well. Yes, Faris. Uh, Mr. Uh, mm. uh, the... Sir, I, Faris, I have less than one minute. Quickly. In, in the pyramids and drawing the prism, we don't, uh, in the last step, we don't want to blow in two, yeah? Where? In the prisms? No. The last step? Yeah. The last step, Yabni, we always add the areas which you find. Get it? You don't multiply. You add them. Yes, but multiply with two. Multiply by two what? Why? Ah, you mean the triangles? Yes. Yes, you multiply by two because you have two triangles. But here, how many triangles we have? Four. So we multiply by what? Four. By four, got it? Depends on the number of the triangles for sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Do your homework and do your online assignment. Started from 2 p.m. until 11 p.m. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Goodbye for all. Bye.